How to get started with ClickUp of a project management. In this step-by-step -step tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how we can do this. Welcome to TechPress. My name is Steven. In today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how we can get started with ClickUp. I'm going to be showing you the features, how we can create our very first task manager, how we can add, customize our spaces, our dashboard, and even we can change our product view from list, board, timeline, and much more. So let's jump into it. As you can see, I'm already here into ClickUp. So the very first thing that I want to do is to create an account totally for free. So let's go into sign up or just locate the section that says enter your work email and hit into get started. After that, it's going to be asking for our full name. We have to provide once again the email and we have to choose a passcode in order to continue. After you have successfully filled all of that, you want to go into play with ClickUp. The verification code from your email is actually just really easy. You just need to go back and just provide the code. So as you can see, our mission here is to make you more productive. You will take only a minute. So what you want to do is to hit into let's do it. So it's going to be helping us to start by creating our very first workspace. So what I want to do is to name this depending on what is the name of my company, the organization or the project where I actually, uh, let's say, start to work. In my case, I want to delete this part and go for the name of my company. And let's go into next. Now it's going to say customize your workspace avatar. In my case, I want to choose this color. And here where it says drag and drop an image or browse, I'm going to leave it like that and then go into how I'm happy so far. Now choose your favorite color theme. This one is going to be helping us to track like more company logos, our brand and much more. Let's just focus into this color and go into I'm happy so far. Notice how today's sign is going to be filled up as we are filling everything into ClickUp. Now how many people would you be working with? In our case, let's just type something to uh, easy like from two to five people. How do you want to start using ClickUp? I'll start using ClickUp for, let's go for project management. If you don't see that in here, you'd have to worry about that. Let's go and try to look for project management or product, or let's go for PMO and hit into next. Now, how did you hear about us? What you want to import, of course, is to go into YouTube and here invite people to your workspace. This is the part where you want to import the email address of the people where you want to fill into your workspace. After you have added those, let's go into I'm done. So they're gonna be receiving an email confirmation that you can be invited into our workspace so you can start working inside this section. Now, do you use any of these applications? What you want to do is to import all the elements that you choose to use into your actual workspace with team workers. In my case, I'm gonna go for Google Hangouts, the test code, the Zoom, and the Microsoft Teams. After that, I'm gonna hit into I am good. And then we have to use any of these tools for quick management. Let's go for no thanks and hit into play with ClickUp. And just like that, the ClickUp is now gonna be ready to get started. As you can see, we have the left part of our home, the notifications, our favorite, all our pages, and of course our dashboard and documents. So in order to get started, what I can strongly recommend you is to create something like really, really easy so you can don't feel like you are like too lost to them. So here, as you can see, we have these pages. You have the space here, and you have my dashboard. Here into my dashboard, I can start creating my very first dashboard. I'm gonna hit into plus. And here, what I can do is to see how I can be like uh, adding some tasks, workload by status, on much more, more. Let's go for task list. And here, let's go for dues for March 2023. The location, I'm gonna go for space, the one that we have just created before, and leave it into add my widget. So now if I go into spaces, I have my space here and I have this new list that we have just created. There we go. So in order to get started, what I can strongly suggest you is to go into the list view so you can see how it's going to be like more accurate for you and your team. We have the list view, we have the board, and we have the calendar. In my case, I do love to work with my team workers using the calendar so they can be tracking like the dates they have to make the dues of their actual tasks. Or you can go into boards. The board's gonna be helping us just to drag and drop all the elements that needs to be done. For example, this uh, project, since it is a to-do list, I can change that in progress. And after that, I can change that from complete. And automatically, this uh, 
elements gonna be added now into the complete section you can add a new status if you want to or you can just delete all the elements for example instead of going for completed I'm gonna go for let's say recorded now let's focus into how we can add our very first tact here into the to-do list I can locate the plus section which is here or I can go down in here where I can start a new task so here I'm just gonna type something too easy let's say record a YouTube video like this and hit into save now that I have created my task I can go and open this task so I can see all the descriptions and all the elements that I can start to add into my task for example here into the upper side focus here where I can add dates let's say that I need to record this from Friday to Monday hit it done I have the time track it here what you want to do if you are working with someone else let's say that someone is recording the video for you so I'm gonna go into plus and here is my actual time tracker so when the actual stuff with the actual person finished to work here it's gonna be appearing the time tracker to hit into stopped and lastly we have the add a cover this is like not too important but here into the description let's go and type something for our teammates and you want to add like all your stuff your custom fields you can add those here the checklist of course there are checklist marks I'm going to go and hit into the back side once I have successfully added my actual list and here you can see there's this little button where I can assign, assign this specific task for specific people let's go and add this element and here I want to assign this from myself and I'm going to go once again and try to assign it to I can try to add more and more here as you can see here are both of them and it's going to appear in here that they assign it to so I can go into the X mark and then we're actually good to go once again the task that you're being doing I can just drag and drop the elements all the people who are inside ClickUp can do this and they can undo things now the other thing that I can be showing you are the actual integrations and applications that we can see here into ClickUp if you notice into the right part we see that there's the actual zoomed element the Google Hangouts this code and much more these are all the elements that we choose to add into our dashboard since we told the application that we use this commonly so for example let's say that I want to start a meeting of zoom so we click here where it says zoom and it's going to be sending us into the click automation application so as you can see we have click apps we have the all and we have all the automations here enabled so that means that when I wanted to start an actual zoom application I can do that inside the actual uh, tracker so here it says zoom I want to enable this and there we go start a meeting from within ClickUp using the zoom meeting button or the zoom slash comment and if I wanted to connect let's say something from my Google Drive I need to just paste the link and automatically it's gonna be appearing in here so when people checked out my actual task here's gonna be appearing the links that I have just added and here I can even create a subtask let's say for example record a YouTube video and if I go and create a subtask let's go for buy a cheap camera and here once again I can assign the task to different people and I can change the due date from let's say today and hit into close this is how guys we can get started here into the ClickUp as you can see there is almost a lot of but really really a lot of steps to take in but this is how I like but this is just like a basic way how we can get started with all our teammates workers so hopefully this was a very useful video for you don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more amazing tools about the ClickUp and how we can get started thank you so much for watching the video guys and with that being said I can hopefully see you on the next video